Hi, welcome back to A Real Real Reviews. This is Cody Williams, and we're going to talk about the movie Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. This movie serves as an origin story for the titular character, in addition to being a reboot of the G.I. Joe film, so to speak. After recently rewatching those two movies to help prepare me for this new film, I don't know what to think. Rise of Cobra was not overly fascinating, but I still had some fun with it. Its sequel, Retaliation, on the other hand, was not fulfilling at the slightest. Even I will admit that these movies aren't the greatest, but having a new reboot completely focused on the iconic character of Snake Eyes, it does give me hope to have a gratifying experience. Nevertheless, the movie story follows a mysterious lone fighter known only as Snake Eyes, who was welcomed into and trained by an ancient Japanese ninja clan called the Arashikagi. He then finds his loyalties being tested when secrets from his past are revealed as he eventually goes on the path to become the heroic operative of the G.I. Joe organization. Not gonna lie, but by the time the movie was all said and done, I was mad. Why is that? That's a question that will be answered later on. Before we get any further, I want to talk about what G.I. Joe means to me. I've always enjoyed watching reruns of the old classic G.I. Joe animated cartoon while growing up during the 90s, and I also had a pretty good collection of the action figures. So, in a matter of speaking, I would classify myself a fan of the G.I. Joe brand. Moving on back to the movie, let's just say that I have mixed feelings on the matter. There were some good things that I liked, but unfortunately, the bad outweighs the good. It's a darn shame, because I really wanted to like this film. There was potential, but everything I wanted out of this movie was completely squandered. I don't downright hate this movie, but it could have been a whole lot better than what it was. Where the movie displaces greatness is within its many characters. Henry Golding plays the role of Snake Eyes tremendously, mind you, but I was also fascinated by the others, including Samara Weaving, Andrew Koji, and Peter Mensah. With all their talent displayed throughout, I really enjoyed all their performances. With the movie taking place in Tokyo, Japan, I really enjoyed the set design and the overall aesthetics to make you feel immersed to the point as if you're actually there in person. Saying that everything looks fantastic is quite the understatement. The many fight scenes were phenomenally choreographed and fun to watch, if you could actually see them. What I mean by that is, I don't know if it's the camera work or the editing, but half of the time, you can hardly make out what's happening during the scatter fights throughout. I guess they took notes off of Batman Begins for that aspect alone. Come to think of it, this movie is heavily reminiscent of Batman Begins to some extent. Just go out and watch it and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Coming back to what made me madder than snot about this movie, the film's biggest sin is the fact that it slowly sets everything up, and right when it starts to get interesting, the movie just abruptly ends like that. <sighs> this may be a spoiler, so leave right now if you don't want anything ruined. I get that this movie is an origin story, but literally, the whole film is all set up and ends on a dime right when we finally see Snake Eyes and his iconic getup that many fans, including myself, have come to love. I'm sorry, but I hate when movies do that. Ultimately, I'd be surprised if we actually do get a sequel to this movie, but it totally depends on how it performs with its box office numbers. If we don't, then we're just stuck with whatever you want to call this movie because I don't have a term for it. Overall, Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins is a movie that tries to revitalize the G.I. Joe brand for a whole new generation, but in the end, it fares out pretty well with some discrepancies. Like I said earlier, I don't entirely despise the movie, but it could have been way better. If anything, this movie is below average for my liking. I give this movie a C-. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Keep up my real reviews.